was a frightening explosive crash on I-94 in western Wisconsin that left two people dead and half a dozen others injured with flames raging between Baldwin and Menominee. The aftermath was captured on highway traffic camera footage. Now for the first time we are hearing from one of those caught up in the chain reaction multiple vehicle crash that occurred during the evening rush hour last Monday. The young woman grateful to be alive documented her terrifying experience as emergency responders attempted to put out a raging fire and save lives. Here's Fox 9's Paul Bloom. With firefighters racing to the frantic scene along I-94. All I see in the mirror is a huge explosion. A shaken Chantel Whitish, still dazed by her own extremely close call. That's when the anxiety started kicking in for me because I realized, oh my God, there's a fire on the highway. Felt helpless until realizing as a critical witness, she could document the scene. So the 19-year-old pulled out her camera. She says her mission was to capture the fearlessness and heroism of first responders. I thought it was pretty cool to see all of these people come help someone they didn't even know. And it's crazy that all of these people have that instinct. Chantel and her boyfriend were heading home to the cities from a day trip to Eau Claire last Monday evening. Their black BMW just one vehicle ahead of what would become the deadly chain reaction crash at the State Highway 128 overpass west of Menominee. She recalls burying her head in the front passenger seat and bracing for impact. In case any debris would come through the glass or anything like that, I felt it was safest to duck. I like to say we were easily six to ten feet away from the explosion. Authorities report the horrific crash was caused when a 76-year-old semi-driver from Illinois traveling at highway speed failed to slow for traffic that had backed up at a construction-related lane closure. He was killed, as was the driver of a Ford F-150 he plowed into. Some half a dozen cars and trucks in total were ultimately caught up in the carnage. You can see that this is the family that was in the car uh, right next to the semi. Chantel, an avid photographer, snapped a batch of pictures in awe of the emergency efforts. In the moment, she had no clue anyone had died. The smoke so thick. The wreckage so incredible, she did not realize there were additional vehicles behind the burning semi-trailer right in front of her. And then there is the video of just pure chaos. This was immediately after it happened. This is the car Chantel and her boyfriend were in. Remarkably, given how close they were to that massive explosion and fireball, the vehicle only suffered some minor damage, some scuffing here along the back bumper an undercarriage. The couple ultimately ended up driving the two people who survived the crash in this heavily damaged pickup to MSP Airport to catch a flight they were scheduled to take. Strangers before Monday, now bonded by their shared freeway nightmare. Now nearly a week later, Chantal still trying to come to grips with the tragic loss of life. Those are people that can't go home. They, you know, you're never guaranteed the next day. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. Wow. Such a horrible crash. Remember the day it happened? It was just unbelievably dramatic. And then the fire. But, but to see it that way, it's yeah. amazing. And there was no braking with the semi. Yeah.